I wanted to show the um, amazing power of a 145 pound magnet. So um, this is a magnetic tumbler and in putting this together I have learned how crazy powerful these magnets are. Um, this here is on a DC motor that is uh, bolted to the bottom of this old um, table saw table. Um, when I was putting this one in, it's a two inch by two inch by half inch magnet. When I was putting it in, it, it kind of got out of control and um, fastened onto the, um, this steel table. When it did, it just shattered. Not really shattered, it just cracked. So I have this new magnet that came today and I kind of did the old um, thing where I kind of let it sit on the deck for a little while and didn't immediately go to it because I was, you know, kind of trying to tamp down my excitement. One magnet inside here and you can feel the force. So I was surprised when I was putting this together the first time, I get my four magnets out, and um, when I did that, the um, the magnets jumped and connected, and it caught part of my finger, and I, you know, I was traumatized. But what happened is it it caught me like somewhere like here, it pinched me. I could not get my finger out of there. Um, if I, if I would have pulled it, it would have tore the skin out. That's how tight of a hold. I mean, we're talking 145, 145, um, 290. So um, I had to get a, a screwdriver to pry it apart and slide my finger out. That's just saying these are very, very dangerous once they get up to uh, they can be dangerous once it gets up to a, a level that um, once it gets to a, a certain level I tried this so the idea with this is this will um, the motor spins these two magnets have the same polarity. These two magnets have the reverse polarity, but the, these two are the same. Look at that, that's just incredible. Now, I have to be careful. I don't think that this is going to jump out on me. Because um, I've done this before. As long as I have a piece of wood or something below it. Let's move this over just a bit. It is rather interesting to see this thing. Okay, so. What I've got to do here is to take this. I'm gonna cut this away from steel or metal and keys in the pocket and stuff like that kind of be over here in the distance, just to make sure that I have it securely held. I mean, <laughs> it sounds really crazy. I don't want to be all dramatic and everything, but there's, these things can get out of control. So I need to find, now this is what it looks like. This magic two by two by half inch. So I'm going to put this here just in case. Okay, that's opposite. That's the way I want to do it. So it should be opposite to that one. Yes. And it's going to want to pull down to the table below. Oh, come on. heck of a time doing this last time. There we go. All right. If 
I made a lot of, and th this is just an aluminum plate. There's no, absolutely no way that glue is gonna hold this in there. Absolutely not. I mean, if these, if there's anything that gets one of these things up and out of their hole, they'll jump and, and um, flip over and catch the other one next to it. So, very, very interesting stuff. Magical. I'm charging my magnet, magnet, magnetic field right now. I'm sure there's probably something about that, like my heart. Magnetic field. My heart as it pumps. All right, so put this back on. Okay, that's there, that's there. So the idea with this is, um, this is a, a tumbler, magnetic tumbler, they call it. And you can see, you can, if you look online, you see all kinds of things like this for sale. Um, and then some do it yourself. Some are more comp more um, advanced and tricky, complicated, well made. Um, this is really just, let's just see if it works. That's kind of where I'm going with this. And it shows promise. I did this with um, um, I'll show you the other plate that I made with smaller magnets that um, kind of did what it was supposed to do, but not hard enough. Yeah, so I'm not even going to try to get. I'm not not even going to get close to that. Can you t can you hear the the fear in my voice? So this one here, I'm just waiting for it to suck me into the vortex. This one here, um, one by two by half inch, these are 90 pound magnets. These I can pull apart with my hands. Those, no way. So this moved what I wanted it to move, but like I said, it just didn't move it quite rapidly enough. So, this is on a DC motor. Friends, let me use this. It's fairly well balanced. That's good. Don't have to deal with that. Let's turn that off. So I'm, this is to, um, I've been making these little cast resin pieces. I've added some metal powder to them now, some bronze, some silver, I don't know, silver nickel powder, aluminum. And um, if I burnish it with steel wool, it looks cool. Um, but it just takes forever and that steel wool dust gets all over the place. So I'm looking for an alternative. So this is the alternative. Um, the idea is that those, the magnets spinning, they catch these st stainless steel pins. See how small they are? They're like little pieces of paper clip. So imagine that spinning around at a high speed and um, like little, little mini hammers. Boom, 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 boom. Hitting the, uh, uh, there you go. Pretty small. Anyhow, like little mini hammers hitting on the, um, the pieces. So I'll put a few pieces in there. I've done this with the other one, so I have a, an idea about what to put in there. I am going to take the camera off now and just uh, give you a peek inside. Yeah, so that's the one handful I just put in there. And if I spin this around, you see, it makes kind of a nice little weird pattern going on in there. Okay, so I'll, let's turn on the, here's how I have the motor set up. Nothing fancy, it's just 
I have a lot of mass to bolt into. So I'll turn down the uh, speed. That's a pretty low speed, and I've done this before, so I know it's not really, uh, there's really not much, much happening in there right now. Let's turn it up. Much more force. Much better. 